I will, oh, is this like... Okay, oh, this is... Actually, I love this intro. This is really nice with all these chess boards. It's a really nice creative, like, intro. Really nice video. Okay, so who the... Who is this dude? I've never even heard of this dude. Oh, is this what is this who the Petrov is named after? But it's spelled Petrov. It's P-E-T-R-O-F-F. -F. It's not spelled P-E-T-R-O-V. Oh, is it is the opening named after this dude? I actually didn't know that. Okay. It's named after him? Okay. What a papega. I don't even know the history of chess. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, and so this is the other thing. Like, when you look at look at the game of chess, like, ch chess is one of those things where it was, like, chess is reversed. So in, in most games, like, I guess, like, League and other things, like, NA is just not not very good. But in, in like, most other games, it's, like, N NA, um, yeah, NA is, isn't good now. But in chess, NA was, NA was, NA was you know, dog, you know what. And now NA is kind of the best, which is just a very weird dynamic. For now, China's going to pass, pass NA eventually. Oh, tours. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry. Let, let me move my cam. Let me move my cam over, over here, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Wind trading. Oh, Staunton. Very good chess player, by the way. Okay. This guy I've heard of, but I don't remember who he was. This is this Vonder, Vonder Lassa. I've seen the name, but I don't, I don't really know much about him. And finally, NA. This 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 guy was a boss. Uh, probably the, the greatest chess player, one of the greatest chess players in history, Paul Morphy, uh, first American world champion, basically. Oh my gosh, holy! This guy is sixty one years old and he's still like playing chess. Did people even live to be sixty in the eighteen fifties? That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Or am I wrong? Like. I mean, let me be 61 in 1855. Isn't that kind of, that's kind of badass, isn't it? I mean, that's, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good stuff, isn't it? I don't know. Like 1855, I thought you lived to be like 45 or something. Um, and yeah, now now comes Wilhelm Stein. It's the first official, first first official one. Oh, he died. I didn't see him. He, he how old? He was sixty nine. Oh, you oh you guys are trolling. Okay, you're trolling. Okay, trolling. Yeah, but he probably did die. Yeah. Look at this list. There's only like one American either. Kind of crazy. Crazy. Okay, and here comes the Ger here come the Germans. Look at this. Oh, nice. Wait, so what is it? Does anybody here like do, do stats? Because like when you see Lasker, you see this peak up here, like where like what, like 1897 or something. And then it just everyone starts trending down. Is that like everyone's playing worse or what's going on? It's but the World War didn't start until 1914, right? So you're not there yet. It's only 1905. Thank you to Quindam for the prime. Thank you to Nemo for the prime.
Thank you, Discord. Future for the Prime. Here comes the Cuban. Oh, did the music change? The music just changed, didn't it? With like World War One, the, the music just completely changed there. It went from like it went from upbeat to really dramatic. <laughs> that's actually really that that's really funny that they timed the music with like with this. And now you hear the imperialist Russian music because Alakim became the best player. Yeah, this, this, this Imperial Russian music is really, really funny. I, I don't know why. I'm having trouble not laughing. It's, it's just really, really funny. Yeah, I know who these guys are, obviously. But this, this is like such Imperial's Russian music. It's just very... Okay, so post-World War II, you see this guy's still the best bot, Vinnick. list oh my gosh it's like all like all these all these like russians and like uh i mean Karas is estonia and gligorich is uh i think maybe yugoslavia at the time not sure what it was called but it's kind of crazy looking at this list like look at this whole list and yes by the way mikhail tal was the world chess champion one of the greatest tactical players ever in the game of chess um from latvia the magician from riga as he was called actually actually fun fact chat so when i when i was in uh riga I think I was in Riga. Maybe it was uh, June of 2019. I actually went by went by the house where where he lived. There's like there's a plaque and um, uh, there's a plaque stating that that's the house where he lived. So I did uh, I did go by and, and see the house where he lived in um, in in Riga. Here comes Bobby. Uh, did I meet any of these people IRL? No, I, I did. I did not meet um, any of these guys yet. I'll, I'll actually, I'll tell you. Actually, I have met Spassky, by the way. I have met Spassky. I saw Korchnoi at tournaments, but I never spoke to Korchnoi. Um, those are the only guys on the list of people who I actually, um, who, who I've, who I've, uh, who I've. Yeah, I, I've met Spassky, and I've, I mean, I've played in tournaments where Korchnoi was playing. I think I spoke to him actually in London on one occasion, very briefly. He was, he was already quite old, obviously, but um, I spoke to him briefly. Um, so, so yeah, these are the only two guys here that I, that I actually, um, that I ever like have met in person. Whoops. Let's keep going. Hikaru is so old. Yeah, I'm so old, Chad. I know. I have, I have of course met Karpov and I have, I actually did play Anatoly Karpov in a, um, in a real over the board game. So, uh, Bobby vanished from the list here because he stopped playing chess. Oh, look, Gary shows up on the list now. Of course, I know Gary quite well. Uh, did, did, I, did I win or lose record? Uh, I only played Anatoly Karpov one time in, a, in an actual ranked classical slow chess game. I beat him, uh, but... But very, very strong chess player. He was already, I mean, he was just playing more for fun. Um, I, I will say, when you look at this list, though, of the people who played, you'll see that in the older, olden times, a lot of these guys, they just kept playing. Like, regardless of what, regardless of how old they were, they just kept playing because they loved the game. Um, and one thing I would say is Karpov as well. Like, he still plays chess occasionally for fun. He just, you know, he enjoys playing the game. Whereas, say, someone like Gary Kasparov specifically does not play for quote-unquote fun. But here comes Gary, yeah, here comes Gary. Yeah, now already you look at this list of the players. Um, actually, on this list, how many of these people have I actually played? So I've obviously played Gary, I've played Anatoly, I've played Ivanchuk, I've played Gelfond, I never played Salov. I saw him at a tournament in New York in 95. 
I've played Jan Timmen. Uh, I have spoken to Gurevich. I don't think I ever played him. I played against Leonard Udasin. Um, I played against Alexander Belyovsky. I played against Jan Alves. So most of these guys on this list I've already played against. What year is this? this is 1990. So, wow. So in, if you look at the top 10 players from 1990 on this list, I've I, I've played against eight of the ten people who were in the top ten in the world in 19 freaking 90. That's insane. That's crazy. I'm old. I know. I'm so old. I'm so old. Um, no, this list started in the 18, um, uh, in like the 1850s. In the 1920s, I think they might. I think this is just based on stats on on the rank. There's some stat stat formula that they came up with for the rankings. I don't think there was an official list. Thank you to Perfectly Nast for the prime. Thank you to Colonel Soap for the prime. Thank you to 17 year old Car for the prime. Thank you to Wild Cucumber for the prime. Um, so so yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Where is XQC in this? Oh, he'll he'll be on this list. He'll be on this list by 2023. Okay, so let's see. This is 95 and in 1995 actually yeah, like liter literally only this one guy Valerie Salov on the top 10. He's the only guy that I haven't that I haven't played against. Everybody else on this list by 95, I've played against. I've played against Kamsky, played against Kramnik, Ivanchuk, Anand, Karpov, Kasparov, Galthon, Dreev, Shirov. So except for this one guy already, I've, I've, I mean, so pretty much everybody here. Actually, let me see. This is what, 97? Yeah, and so by 97, I'm, yeah, by 97, the list of all these people. Uh, how many have I beaten? So I've beaten Gata Kamsky, I've beaten Alexei Shirov, I've beaten Boris Galthon, I beat Evgeny Barev in a match. Um, I've beaten Topolov, I've beaten Karpov, I've beaten Ivanchuk, I've beaten Kramnik, I've beaten Anand, and Gary I never played a classical chess game against, um, so, I mean, that's just separate. But yeah, 9 of the 10 people I have pl played against and I've scored scored victories against. Um, so, so, so yeah. But that, that's not a flex, it's just, I mean, I've played many of these guys many, many times, and also I didn't play them in 97 when they were necessarily at their peak, I played them, of course, much later, because in 1997 I was 10 years old, like, I was not that good at chess in 97, I was only 2,200. Wait, where's Judith? So actually, this this is very quickly, I will point out one thing in 2005, because I'm looking at this very closely now, is that one thing that's worth noting, as you'll see in the eighth place, is Judith Polgar. Um, she was the number eighth ranked player in the world, the only female player ever to be in the top 10 at chess. Um, so I have to definitely mention that. Um, no, I'm not name dropping. I mean, it's just I've played these guys. That, that's all. Um, but yeah, Judah Polgar, definitely. The, the only female player ever to be ranked in the top 10 at chess. Um, and this was in 2005. And she was number eight in the entire world. And if you, if you do a comparison, like the top female player right now, I think is is maybe Hu Yi Fan. She's probably around number 45 to number 50. Um, I have played Judah over the board, yes. I have a very good score against Judah. But um, definitely one of the biggest ambassadors for the game. Um, so, so yeah, I just have to point that out here. So let's keep going. Oh, I'm going to appear on this list at some point too, right? Wait, when do I appear? Ah, there I am. I appear right there in 2011. Okay, let me go back. Where do I first appear? Let's see. There there we go. Okay, it's... um, Yeah, there we go. So I, I appear on this list at... Uh, when's this? Yeah, January 2011, you see, I, I appear here. I'm number 10 on this list. Um, So I, I actually made the list. Wait, what? Where am I hit number two? Why doesn't it show me number two? Wait, wait, one second. Let me let me do this like slowly. Yeah, okay. It shows me number four. Yeah. No, I hit number two in October, I think, of 20, 2015, maybe. I think twenty fifteen I did. Um uh, but anyway, as you see, like at the end I guess it's only through twenty sixteen or does it keep going? No, that's where it stops, right? So it stops here. So this is March 2016. So Kramnik was second, Geary was third, I was fourth, Fabiano was fifth. Most of these names, of course, are still still pretty close. It showed it just went back fast. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so so yeah, this is this is a good one. Um, only fourth, only fourth. Yeah, it's it's fine. Um, but yeah, so that that's 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 the list um, of like the top chess players over time. 
you see the, the rank, rankings actually let, let me go back a little bit let me see so gary kasparov wh where was the first guy to break 2800 by the stats i think it was kasparov right somewhere back here wait no who's this dude okay so karpov basically wait who's the green dude the green dude is um who's this green dude that goes really high this is anatoly karpov or not Oh no, the green dude is the green dude is Bobby. Sorry, the green dude is Bobby Fisher. I'm stupid. Sorry, J4MS. Thank you so much for the prime. Thank you to buy one product for the prime. Yeah, so this is this is Bobby Fisher. So tails off. So he was the first guy that looks like crosses 2800 ranking. But I, the reason I'm going back in the video is just because I'm trying to compare it to um trying to compare it to the computer one since I watched the computer one to see it's like he he breaks us 2800 and then both Karpov and Korshner are kind of over it. But if I go back here. This orange, uh, who's the orange? I can't even tell who the orange. The orange guy is Mikhail Botvinnik, it looks like. So so maybe it's like by the rankings, everybody is kind of, everybody by the rankings kind of was um, was over 2,800 until what point? So yeah, so so okay, Botvinnik we know is the orange line. If we go back, who's the red line? Aliekin is the red line. Okay, so maybe like 1930 is, is where is where you can compare it, I guess. When you when you look at it, if you if you compare if you compare the, the stats, um, but it feels like the general general change is not super. Uh, Morphe for his time was Morphe. Let me go back. I because I didn't look closely because I was just trying to watch the whole thing. Let me go ahead. Morphe, um, twenty no, but if you look at this, they say twenty seven eighty for the time period. So it looks. I don't think he crossed. Did he? Let me keep going. Goes up. Let me see. Does he go over it? No, 2796. You saw it there for half a second. 2796. So by the by the rankings, he was just under that for the time. Um, so, but very very close. So so like yeah. But considering the time though, look at the gap. So he's up here. Next guy is like more than this guy. The green line is. I don't even know who the green line is, but but it's very short. Like it's it's very far. Like that that's how you grade the world champions by the curve of how far ahead. I'm super curious about Judith. Is she sweet or just a no nonsense pro? I mean, everybody, everybody, everybody. I mean, we're all very cordial with each other. She's a very nice. She's she's very nice. She's a very nice person, and I, I I always have had great interactions with her. Um. So yeah, I know you're looking for something else, but 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 yeah, she's she is um she's a great ambassador for the game. She's doing so much stuff for chess now. Um. And and like I've said, like just one of the best chess players in the world. Um. All right. Yeah, okay, chat. Laugh, laugh, laugh it up. Laugh it up. Um, laugh it up. Just laugh it up. Dude, come on. Let's be serious here. Um, but yeah, so I guess the rankings, you don't really see a huge differential. Like, it's it's like you see here there's a big gap. There's there's not... It's always pretty tight. The gap is, like, within, like, 50 ranking points. Like, even here, look at this 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 gap here. It's, like, so tight. And then it's only, it's only with Bobby Fischer that you see the big gap. And then, of course, Gary Kasparov with, with the big gap as well. So it's, like... Yeah, it's just an interesting, interesting, interesting one. Asking Twitch to be serious, yeah. Yeah, it's... But, but yeah, Fisher just, like, amazing. And then, of course, Kasparov. Carlson, of course, is 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 quite a bit better. But, again, you see the gap, the differential is... He's better, but it's still, it's still a pretty tight range. You're talking, give or take, plus minus 50 points, roughly.